Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nissa, and today we're gonna take a look at a new mod, which is the Merton's Water Monitor by Leaf Gen and TNT. Um, it is this water monitor, of course, it's based on the Asian water monitor uh, rig, so basically, most likely, everything that works for that will work for this. Um, as you can see here, it's this beautiful little monitor. It has this kind of duck face look to it. This light colorations uh, from the eyes or under the eyes, over the eyes, and then the dark colorations in between there. And uh, yeah, I have these typical monitor claws. As you can see, these goes very much forward. They do also go a little downward so they can grab things, but they aren't like climbing based monitors because they are not built for that that doesn't mean that they can't climb but the main function is more to grab things or to eat things or attack things um yeah i just want to mention they come in quite a few different colorations you can see here this is a completely different colorations much darker much more like red toned where the other was yellow toned i think you also can come to some lighter variations and lighter of course it have this thin top of the tail it's not round it have this kind of swoosh upwards in the middle and the face have this quite unique uh more like nick area I have this kind of elongated snaky feel to it but besides that it's still a monitor <laughs> of course uh, let's go into the game and right away we have an issue being it flies over water. Uh, I will just before we lay too much uh, into that. Windy. I have not seen that one before I must say but I can see the same thing happens over there. Um, but in general the swimming animations works perfectly fine. Uh, they also walk perfectly fine on the ground it is only that they are lifted this small part over here um however it's hard to see from this angle really really hard to see from this angle that kind of looks a little bit funny though um so it depends again how you play your game you can see here we also have multiple colorations however i think the dark one here is a kit but the kits also come in lighter colorations like this one uh so we have a lot going on let's get into supedia and see what happens in here that's a really unique photo in a good way like it's not showcasing that it's the animal specifically we look at but as a photo i really like it um Anyway, they are endangered and the population in the wild is unknown. It's also called commonly Merton's Water Monitor and often misbuilt Merton's Water Monitor is a species of lizard in the family Veranidae. Okay, so there's, it's important that you spill it uh like this and not like this because it's not the same monitor uh anyway they are from australia and they live in i actually thought some of these islands were asian however i'm listening to this uh some of the mothers do reuse these pictures so when this don't show the same as this then i normally go for this uh tropical grassland and of course aquatic biomes and you need 280 square meters of land. We need some water, but it doesn't need to be deep water. Uh, but again, you need a certain amount of water to make them dive. Uh, they will work fine if with anything above 12 degrees Celsius. And you need a great two fence above 3.3 feet, which is one meter. Um... You can only have one male er, and or one female. Males are territorials. They are 
promiscuous, so they are not bonded to that uh, one they live with. If you have one of each, they will not be bonded in the same way as if they were monogamous. Uh, but they still don't like others around. Um, no rules there. They are confident around humans, but humans should not into their habitat. They grow to about one meter. I think the Asian water monitor grows to 2.25 meters and two for the female. So these, the Asian one is double size. Uh, of this Merton's one uh, one meter again 3.3 feet live for around 80 years and weigh only sorry 380 grams which is less than a single pound um, reach sexual maturity at the age of 11 years so it can take some time uh, for the reproduction to work however they can then reproduce until they die they will give between two and eight offspring every second year and be pregnant for eight months should however be easy to get to reproduce in captivity uh, here i assume it's the same as the asian water monitor but we have the blood scent marker we have the water jet both of them pre-scented sack rubber doggy both rubbing pads yeah, they're all four of the small balls, the sprinkler, the uh, water jet, I did say that already, platform floats. And for food enrichment, we have the frozen plot pumpkin, the dog ball, the bamboo feeder, restrained feeder, and both underwater feeders. We do not have any species enrichment, however, I'm not sure if this is a poisonous variation. Anyway, I actually want to find a dry one and I kind of guess that you are since you are going for the water. I'm just finding a nice patch over here where we can look at it. Um, Again, because textures can be hard, harder to see when they are shiny. So I always prefer looking at them dry, no matter if they have fur or not. Yeah, again, they have that pub out. Uh, Leaf actually talked about this on one of his uh, videos recently and he called it something much more technical. For me, it's the, it's pops out and in. <laughs> um, let's see. I just want to show the picture again, not this picture, this picture. Again, color can vary much. Uh, I think this color is the one that I had the most of. Um, but it isn't that difficult to get other colors. However, when you go in here and... There. It doesn't show what the color is called. And the pictures are the same. So you're guessing pretty much. Um, of course, you can just buy a bunch and then choose what you want if it's that. I do like that they have the hole to the ear, very, very clear, uh, which I don't feel like we have gotten on all of the monitors. We're getting a lot of monitors right now. I'm here for it, but I do understand. I want to spread them out. I do understand not everyone is for monitors or any kind of lizard. Um, we have a little, I actually think it's more like the lower lip and the uh, top lip clips a little bit there i actually think we also have something going on there so if i do like this and just oh can you do that again okay i'm not fast enough for this i want to see your tongue is that too much for to ask for uh, however when it opened the mouth this clearly disappeared so i think it's a little clip that it does uh, which again not the biggest uh issue it has this swoosh up here which i think is very telling that is this specific monitor uh, 
bone structure in the face is a good way to tell a lot of monitors apart. It also have like that little monitor smile going downward. Uh, again, it clips a little bit there, so it's not as easily to see, but it do ha does have it. Uh, the eye here is a different color, but I'm not sure if these have eyes in multiple colors. I didn't check that much. I wish I could get closer to the scales here because they look good. It is a little blurry over here. And since they don't have fur, this is not the fluffiness uh, issue. This is blurry. My computer, however, is working a little hard right now. So I'm not sure if that affects it. I don't think so because some some places the scales look really, really good. And some places they do not look as good. Um, overall, it looks good. Overall, I think it looks good. And what I really do like is that it's not like they all have the same color. Like this is not the same color uh, that any one of those touching are. I'm pretty sure there are some colors that have been reused, but it looks like it's very unique every single scale. And that's really, really great. Uh, what I did just notice is that these three yellows looks kind of like these these are a little darker than these but if you look at specifically three yellows like that also happens there and i assume if we go over here three yellow three yellow three yellow uh however i'm not mad about it because you need to look for it to actually find it it actually also looked quite beautiful over here in the shadow but yeah, it's just good. Again, the claws, it's because it clips with the floor or, or the ground. So I'm not mad at that at all. I think we have a lot of babies in here. So of course we should look at the babies. However, don't expect too much. Do we have a dry one somewhere in here? You little baby, you are a baby. Great. We have some sun over here. The baby is, of course, oh, it's putting its tongue out. Is of course smaller, but lizards or oh, oh, okay. The bend there is a little unfortunate. However, you saw how fast this animation is. So unless you actually pause it at this specific time, you will won't notice uh, at all. It did get a shine, which I do appreciate. Um. But what I was going to say is with the lizards, they do very much look like a smaller adult. They are hatched from eggs and they need to be care be ready for pretty much taking care of themselves. So therefore, they are done baking. They will only grow. And that's pretty much the difference. Some cold-blooded animals like snakes, lizards, and so on. Some turtles even are mo more pigmented when they're baby, the same with crocodilians, more pigmented as babies, and then they turn a little more mad, a little more grayish in color when they grow older. These doesn't appear to have that color change, um, but still looks good. And it seems like, again, same details here, specifically looking at the three yellow. Again, I'm not mad at them. It's just one point to prove a point um so yeah it's beautiful beautiful i really like it uh, and i really hope you do too again if you are not into monitors then i do not understand why you have seen this video for this long no idea what that is <laughs> um but if you want like a, a lizard zoo at this point i'm pretty sure you can actually make a specific lizard zoo and i'm here for it uh, oh this is not flying okay then it went up okay uh but yeah i i really like these and if you like them too then please go and get them of course at all as always i link below so you can go and download them yourself get help to downloading all of the good stuff is linked down there and um 
I've been talking way too long. So, guys, as always, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.